Ken has been one of the most used characters in Street Fighter 6, so chances are you ran into more than a few of them. But do you know how to actually fight him? In this game Ken got a new move, Jinrai, which allows him to enforce some pressure that can be rather tricky to deal with. However, there are some things that you should know about to make your life easier. First of all, there are three different starters, light, medium and heavy. You can tell them apart by Ken's voice lines and increasingly slower startup. The first two are unsafe at minus 11 and minus 7 respectively and can be punished unless spaced out beyond your reach. However, the heavy one is safe at minus 2. The follow-ups are consistent regardless of the version. The low is always unsafe at minus 5, while the overhead and high kick are minus 3, losing Ken his turn. So what can you do about it outside block punishing? Unfortunately, the answer isn't all that simple, since you will need to play around Ken and see how he uses this move. For starters, let's look at some of the safest and most reliable options before briefly covering the riskier ones. Using a parry will let you cover all Jinrai follow-ups without having to react to the high-low mix. However, the Ken player can adapt and go for a throw instead, so that's something you have to pay attention to. Another nice and safe option, if you have the meter for it, is the drive reversal. You won't get any damage out of it, but it will allow you to stop Ken's pressure and reset the situation. For a more difficult but meterless option, you can go for a fuzzy guard. If you're not familiar with the term, you can pause the video and give it a read. What it comes down to is that we can guard based on timing rather than reaction. Even if Ken delays, the low option will always come out first, so by lingering in crouch guard and then standing up, we automatically cover all follow-ups. Now what about those riskier options? Well, if you got a read on Ken, you can opt in to interrupt or DI him instead. For example, if he consistently goes for the light Jinrai, every follow-up will get DI'd if you mash it in the gap. Some normals also don't allow for gapless cancels, making him vulnerable. Going for these aggressive options might allow you to shift momentum and rack up some damage, but there's a lot of nuance to when you can or cannot press, which you will have to experiment with based on your character's toolkit. Thank you for watching this brief guide, and if there are any characters, moves or mechanics that you've been having problems with, let us know. See you next time.